Welcome back to the cockpit, fellow aviators. My name's Matt Farrell, and I'm the flying salesman. And this is your first time tuning in. I get the joy of working for a company called Aramock out of Wichita, Kansas. I get to travel the country in this Cessna 210 and call on great aviation customers, primarily uh, aircraft mechanics. release on request. Primarily aircraft mechanics, uh, parts managers, avionics managers, and that sort of thing. And uh, I'm leaving Destin, Florida. We were down here for a trade show with those guys. Uh, give you a picture of the trade show booth right here. Let you know what that takes a look. What let you know what that looks like? How we set up a, for a trade show with a tabletop booth. And we're gonna blast off, head back to Shreveport, uh, spend the night in Shreveport, and then tomorrow headed to Little Rock for an AI renewal. So appreciate you coming along. Hope you enjoy the flight. It's beautiful weather today. Hopefully, won't be too many bumps along the way, and we'll have a good smooth flight. So hope you buckle up, enjoy the flight, and we'll talk to you in the air. All right, run up complete. Contact All engine instruments in the down. green, 140 degrees on that old temp. That looks great. Cessna over white point copy. When you get to the Gulf Coast, report the westbound turn. What's the tail number again? The departure frequency set, tower frequency set. Destin Tower, Centurion 604, the members ready to go, 14 Alpha 1. Centurion 604, 8 November, Destin Tower, release on request. Stand by. Stand by, 4 November, hold short. Centurion 48 November on departure, fly runway heading, runway 14, clear for takeoff. Centurion 48 November, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff, 1448 November. Okay, here we go. Entering runway 14. Thank you, Gladys. Entered runway 14, 4900. Thank you, Gladys. All instruments in the green. Red line, red line. Airspeed live, 80 knots, rotate. Positive rate, gears coming up. November contact Eglin departure today. Or November's going to departure. Y'all have a great day as well. Cessna 19655 turned uh, west over Destin 4500 feet. November 655, Roger traffic, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Eglin departure, Centurion 604, November's off a Destin 700, climbing for 1,600. Centurion 604, 8 November, Eglin departure, radar contact, climb, maintain 8,000. Up to 8,000 for 604, 8 November, 140 on the nose. Number 655, maintain VFR at 3,500. Maintain at 3,500, uh, distance 655. 1-0-1, expedite through 3,000 for that traffic, now 12 o'clock, 1-0 miles. I don't know how much of that takeoff we got on. Turn right in 240, vector for climb. Right, 240 for 48 November. Centurion 48 November, clear direct trader on course. Direct trader on course for 604 November. Eglin approach, Congo 136,000, 4,500 VFR, direct fit. Congo 13, I'm going to approach the item number 3023. 3023, Congo 13. November 48, November. I'll maintain 4,000, expect higher with the next sector for traffic flow. Alright, 4,000 for 604, November. I guess I wasn't getting to 8,000 fast enough at 500 feet a minute. They're going to stop me at 4,000. That'll give you all a little bit better. View of the coastline as we climb. Congo 13, maintain VFR west along the coast. Congo 13, welcome. Number 48 November, climb maintain 8,000, contact Pensacola approach 119.0. I maintain 6,000, contact Pensacola approach 119.0. All right, 6,000 and 119.0 for 604 November. Good morning, 
Pensacola Approach, Centurion 604, November 3700, climbing for 6000. that we have a communication failure. They told me to expect 8,000 in 10 miles. I'm 69.4 nautical miles from the uh, trader intersection. So if I lost communications at 59 nautical miles and I couldn't reestablish communications, I would be cleared to 8,000 feet. That's what they're expecting me to do, and so that's what I would need to do for them to make sure that we're all on the same page. On course, on track, 500 feet per minute, climbing at 138 knots indicated. 150 knot true airspeed, ground speed 148. Clipping along pretty good today. Star 2 for whiskey, maintain VFR out of below 3,500. Uh, maintain VFR out of below 3,500, 2 for whiskey. November 604, November, climb maintain 8,000, clear direct trader. Up to 8,000, direct trader for 604, November. Fiscal departure, Skyhawk 737, Yankee Fox, right here. Keep that climb going. November 604, November, contact approach 120.65. 120.65 for November, good day. Good day. Good morning, approach Centurion 604, November's with you, 6.3, climbing for 8,000. All right, 201 Sarah, sorry, Cat 14, Pensco Approach Box 0125, and verify your information, Delta. I was listening, nobody was talking. Shark Act Mace Delta Current, Navy Sherman, information Oscar at Gulf Shores, Altimeter 3024. I think I stepped right on it. 604, November, Pensco Approach, understand out of 64 for what was the assigned altitude? 8,000 for 604, November. That's right, November, thank you. Cat 13 flight, I'm sorry, Cat 17 flight, climb maintain 6,000. Many of you don't know, but one of my favorite hobbies is fishing, and especially saltwater fishing. Flying over these areas like this, I look down there at those flats and just wonder how much time I could spend down there chasing big redfish. Looks like a beautiful place to go weight fishing. Put a comment down below if you like to saltwater fish. That'll be one more thing we have in common. All right, we're going to continue this climb. Level off 8,000 feet. I'll check in with you guys a little bit further down the road. Appreciate you coming along. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back, fellow aviators. We're making the turn at Trader now. I want to take this opportunity to point out a destination. Just southwest of me is Dolphin Island. That's on my bucket list of a place I want to visit. Whoever flown into Dolphin Island can give me any tips about going in there, let me know. That's an airport that's 3,000 foot long. It has an airport manager, but no other facilities than that really like to go in there and take the family on a vacation. I think that'd be a cool trip and a cool destination. Go into a small airport like that, stay on the island, just have some downtime. I think that'd be fantastic. So if you have any tips about flying into Dolphin Island, I'd sure like to hear them. I think that's a pretty cool place. I've heard a lot about it, uh, but personally, I've never been there. We got an hour and 56 minutes to go to Shreveport downtown. Got a 14 knot crosswind. Got a 175 knot true airspeed, 166 knots across the ground. Clipping along pretty good. Mobile approach, good morning. 216 Charlene, we'll level 3000. Did a course leaning on the aircraft, now we're going to lean it Charlie for a cruise. Level approach, Altimere 3023. Hit that lean fine button. 216 Charlene. Leaning that picture, looking for peak EGT. There it is, number three. About 70 pounds per hour, that's what it normally is. Gonna enrich in that mixture. Probably gonna settle somewhere around 100 pounds per hour. Just the visual or you want the ILS or something? So we'll take the visual on it, yeah. Roger, expect that. There's about 100 pounds per hour. Coming up to, coming through 100 degrees, Rich Peak, we'll see where that lands. We'll fine tune it wherever we need to go from there.
For those of you who've been following along, my subscribers, you know that I did a video with my son Luke a while back. We've been dealing with a health issue with him. We thought things were getting kind of ironed out, but it looks like things are, uh, his symptoms are kind of progressing and getting a little bit worse. We don't have everything figured out, so I ask everybody to say a prayer for Luke that he gets well soon. Say a prayer for our family that uh, everything uh, turns out okay. Uh, going through a bunch of tests and everything right now, trying to get everything figured out. Uh, just figure out what's going on with him. So uh, give Luke's a big thumbs up. You know, that's our thing in our house for Luke. So uh, give me a like. That's the same as a thumbs up at our house. So uh, he'd really appreciate all the thumbs up that y'all could give him. That'd make him feel a lot better. And uh, I've already gotten some requests for Luke to get back in the airplane, get back on the Luke cam. So uh, maybe we can make that happen one day. But uh, it really means a lot to me. Thank you for everybody, and your prayers will really be appreciated. Going to get back to paying attention to what's going on in the cockpit here. Make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing, and we'll check in with you a little bit further down the road. Real quiet flight. Really beautiful day to fly today. Appreciate you coming along, so we'll see you further down the road. Houston Center Centurion, 604 November's with you, level 8000. Number 604 November, number 6048 November, Houston Center, call out altimeter 3017. 3017 for 604 November. Hour and 30 minutes to go to Shreveport downtown. Center across the ODAD, a 1, 1, 173 knots of true airspeed, 1, 1, 165 1, across the ground. Everything's looking good. Everything's in the green. River Lean for cruise climb. All of our temperatures look good. Pressure looks good. Beautiful day to fly. Smooth as glass. Blue skies above us. We couldn't ask for anything better than this. Alley 06, Houston Center, Hattiesburg, Laurel, altimeter 3019. We started our plans for Sun and Fun coming up in April. Started putting together, discussing how what our booth's going to look like, what products we're going to take, and that sort of thing. So leave a comment down below. Reach out to me and let me know if you're going to be at Sun and Fun. I'd love for you to come by the booth and chat with me. That's one of the things that I love about aviation is the community that we have. I love the stories that we have. Uh, I was visiting with the, the aerial applicator guys, the ag guys at the show yesterday. A lot of great stories. I want to take this opportunity to share some exciting news. I've been doing aviation sales for about 30 years now. I've met a lot of exciting people through my career. A lot of them I've developed friendships with. And through the course of, of our getting to know one another, we've shared some really great stories with one another. A few years ago, I decided I needed to start writing those stories down and be able to share them. Uh, with the flying public and people who have a genuine interest in aviation. Uh, you know me, I love the community, I love chilling stories, I love getting to know you. And so what I've done is I've taken some of those short stories, I've put them into a paperback book. It's available on Amazon. You can also get it in a Kindle format if you're a Kindle reader. Uh, nine short stories in here of stories that I've encountered through uh, my sales and my travels. Uh, some of them uh, I personally were involved in. Uh, some of them were relayed to me as being fact, and if you read the stories, I think you'll discover that there's some pretty tall tales in here and some uh, really uh, colorful characters. I want to acknowledge Billy Miles, who did the cover artwork for my book. He was an ag pilot out of southeast Arkansas. Uh, grew up hearing stories about him, had the pleasure of working on his airplane when I worked at the avionics shop. Just a fantastic gentleman in the aviation business. His daughter which has a story in the book about his daughter being a professional pilot. She's an amazing pilot, and just really appreciate her and her family allowing me to use his artwork for the cover of my book. Uh, Handwritten. It was hand-drawn by Billy Miles, and I think it just adds a, a personal touch to the stories and to the cover of the book. So check it out on Amazon, Hanger Tales by Matt Farrell, and if you like a really good aviation story, I think you'll enjoy it. Maybe you buy it for yourself, give a copy to someone else you know that likes aviation and uh, wants to hear some of these stories. So I appreciate you checking it out, and I hope you enjoy the book. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know when the videos drop. Our goal is to put one out one a week. And I want to give a shout-out to Maddie. <laughs> Show up your Mardi Gras beads. Say hi, Maddie. Hey. Good to have you. At uh, Atlantic Aviation at Jackson Airport. She was a lot of fun. Came through there with my Mardi Gras beads on. 
and uh, she gave me a big wave and, and uh, wanted to share in the, the spirit of Mardi Gras. Great customer service rep there at Atlantic Aviation in Jackson, Mississippi. So if you get a chance, swing in there and see her, buy some fuel from them. Uh, really good business there, took really good care of us, gave us a quick turn so I could get back out and get on to my destination. So thank you Atlantic Aviation for that, I really appreciate it. Uh, 3039, cross all data, 11000. This is such a great business, it's such a wonderful community, it's always fun to share that with people and share a smile and share a laugh no matter where we go. So that's a lot of fun and I really appreciate Maddie uh, participating and uh, agreeing to be on the video. So. Give her a big Plus shout out if you're in there and tell her thanks. Everything's looking good in the airplane. We're trucking right along. When we get closer to Shreveport, I'll check in with you and let you know uh, how we're going to get in there. We'll probably have to skirt across the uh, Marksdale Air Force Base, kind of like we've done before. So maybe the B-52s will be flying. Might get another shot of that or something. So sit back, relax, and we'll check in with you in a bit. Okay, we're 20 minutes from Shreveport, level 8,000 feet. Expecting a handoff from Monroe to Shreveport any minute. We're a few minutes away from our descent. Go ahead and start easing that power back. The air's, the air's nice and smooth today, so we'll have a cruise descent. Get us down pretty quick. Ground speed right now is 173 knots, so we're clipping along pretty good. 118.6, good day. 118.6 for 604, number you have a great day as well. There's the handoff. Gonna go ahead and change that fuel over to the fullest tank to be ready for landing. It's a beautiful clear day. I can actually see Shreveport. We're still 52 nautical miles away. Good morning, Shreveport approach. Centurion 604, November's with you, level 8,000 feet. Centurion 604, November Shreveport approach. Good morning, downtown is landing runway 14. Wind 1707, altimeter 3013. 3013, we'll expect 14 for 48 November. Centurion 48 November, descend to maintain 3000. Down to 3000 for 6048 November. Just about to give him a call. All right, got that autopilot set for 500 feet per minute down. We'll see what kind of ground speed we get now. Got the, pull, the power pulled back to about 60% power. We're going to be tickling the, definitely going to be in the yellow arc, maybe tickling the green, but I expect us to be into the yellow. I had to pay close attention, make sure there's no bumps down low. Nowhere near the winds that we had coming out of Shreveport on Monday. So, a lot different flight conditions. Different day, different flight. I'm going to go ahead and send the approach plate to the map. Established in our cruise descent, got 167 knots indicated, just into the yellow arc, 182 knot ground speed. Beautiful clear day today. 36 nautical miles, miles away from the airport, and I can make out the buildings of downtown Freeport, which are located just, just right off the departure end of runway 14, so outstanding visibility today. switch over to put my number two radio on downtown tower. Be ready for that switch. Destination ASOS is 118.525. Thank you, Gladys. Yeah, Shreveport approach, 604 November, any chance for lower? November 4, November, descend to maintain 2000. Down to 2000, 4 8 November, thank you. I have downtown in sight. Number 4 8 November, cleared visual approach runway 14 in the downtown. Clear for visual 14, 4 8 November. We are five minutes from downtown airport. I have it in sight. We're 3,200 feet. I'm cleared for the visual to 14. Gonna have to start slowing it down because I don't want to do a chop and drop where I have to kill the power, pull the nose up, get the, la the yeah, excuse me, get the flaps out and then the landing gear. I want that to all be a smooth transition. So. Still 15 nautical miles out, so I've kind of pulled that power back about an inch or so. We're going to let things slow down and cool down, 
and uh, just keep easing that power back a little bit at a time so when I level off, my speeds will come right down to flap speed. I can get in my flaps and then that'll get me right down to landing air extension speed and be able to be in perfect shape for landing. So have the airplane configured and be in the pattern, arriving in the pattern at the right altitude in the right configuration and be ready for landing. Again, I've talked to it before. I've got my right hand down here by the throttle. It's the ease in that. 4 8 November contact downtown tower 120.22. 4 8 November's going to tower. Thank you, Bill. Downtown tower, Centurion 604 8 November's on the visual 14, 11 to the southeast. Centurion 604 8 November, downtown tower, and left downwind runway 14, have one in the pattern. All right, enter a left downwind for 14, be looking for one in the pattern, 4 8 November. I've got my finger on the trim wheel, just, just adjusting that trim wheel, dialing in. I'm giving it a little bit of up trim. I want to have just about two or three hundred feet per minute now. I'm at two thousand five hundred feet. I need to be at thirteen hundred feet. Three minutes out, so keeping her coming down at a nice smooth rate. And again, pulling that power back so that when I level out, I can have the airplane configured. There's my gear warning horn. It doesn't like being that far out. Put that back in, see if we can adjust that again. All right, there it is. There we go. That's what. Oh, I had to slow it down because of these bumps. Gear warning horn again. Below 150. that gear out got a wheel got a green gas undercarriage mixture props will set on a thousand to go seat belt shoulder harnesses cow flaps closed centurion 48 november your number two phone an experimental on uh, short final runway one four wind one three zero at seven clear to land Clear to land, 14 November behind the experiment. Clear to land, landing light coming on. Coming up on the downwind. Going to start that turn. We've got the airplane configured. We are now on a left downwind for runway 14, traffic pattern altitude. Everything's looking great. Thank you, Gladys. Paramount 40 Bravo Yankee, uh, Roger. And next, Paramount 40 Bravo Yankee left at uh, Packham. Fox Drive Golf to Park and monitor the ground 0.65. Have a pleasant day, sir. Thank you for all your help. Echo November to Golf, monitor 0.65, 40 Bravo Yankee. So we're going to do a full flap landing today. We're going to make that turn off at Echo. We're going to beam the numbers. Ease that power back. Start our descent in the pattern. Start our base turn. Roll out on base. 20 degrees of flaps. Start our turn to final. 500. Thank you, Gladys. Go ahead and roll in full prop. Pulling that 
power back. Two reds, two whites. Perfect. Short right. final runway one four. Thank you, Gladys. Starting to slow to 90 knots. We're going to get that last notch of flaps. Little bit of nose down trim. There's 90 knots. Lose that couple inches of manifold pressure. Slow it down to about 80 knots. Let it sink a little low there. And the power's back. There you go. You didn't even feel the wheels touch that time, did you? Make up for that landing I had in Destin, Florida. I'll pop that window. And Cessna 48 November, where'd you like to park? North end of golf. Echo November to golf, please. Cessna 48 November, left at Echo November golf to parking. Monitor ground, point six five. Good day. Echo November golf to park. Monitor ground 65. You have a great day as well. I love a controller that enjoys his job. One, two, one, six, five, change that frequency over. We'll monitor ground to park. Get off the runway here, verify flaps. Flaps verified. Flaps up, verify cow flaps. Cow flaps verified. Cow flaps open. Props full forward, lights off. And we will start our timer to wind down let that turbocharger spin down and cool down. Well, fellow aviators, it's been a great trip. Been a quick trip down to Florida. Got to see the sun a little bit and enjoy the sand a little bit. Did some business with some great folks. Appreciate you coming along on this flight home. Uh, we're going to turn right around and go to the uh, IA renewal in Little Rock, Arkansas. Got to head up for that. And then uh, sales meetings in Wichita, Kansas next week. So that'll be my next flight for you guys to come along. So be looking for that video to drop. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one.